Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now to understand the drugs in a better way, we classify drugs on the basis of a lot of effect. The first is the pharmacological effect. See, for example, if somebody hits you, you are sad. If somebody loves you, you are happy, right? So this happy and sad are the effects. They are the output effect. So on these basis, we also classify medicines. And this is from the pharma view. We will talk about these in details. The next is on the basis of drug action. If somebody is hitting you or somebody is loving you, this is action. This is action. So on the basis of action also we classify it because one action can have multiple effects. We can, we can show you. For example, if somebody loves you, you may be happy. Sometimes somebody loves you so much that you may start crying also out of love. So you're getting two different effects for the love, right? Or somebody hits you slightly, you are sad, but somebody hits you very hard, you start crying. Correct. So there can be multiple effects or if somebody hits you harder, you may be hospitalized. I mean, there are so many different effects possible for the same action that is hit. Here also for the same action, love, there are so many effects possible. So there are two different classification. Hope you understand. So basis of drug action, what is the action drug is performing? And on the basis of pharmacological effect, what is the output, final effect? We will talk about these in details. The next is on the basis of chemical structures and the last one is on the basis of molecular targets. What are the targets for these drugs? Are they targeting enzymes? Are they targeting nucleic acids? Are they targeting lipids? So based on that we classify. Let's study in detail the pharmacological effect. So if you see, here we classify based on the effect. For example, if you see this medicine, Right? This medicine is analgesic. It can do a lot of stuff. It can suppress pain, it can reduce fever, it can do a lot of stuff. This particular medicine is antibiotic. We'll talk about what is analgesic, what is antibiotic in the next few slides. Just uh, hold with me. This antibiotic can kill microorganism, this can reduce fever, they can do a lot of stuff. So, if I say that, a particular X medicine reduce fever. There are so many medicines which reduce fever. Even this guy can do. Even this guy can do. So on the basis of all medicines which can reduce fever, you can classify, okay, there are 10 medicines. Correct. So here we are focused only on these effect. The effect. Right? For example, you go to doctor and you say you have fever or you have headache or you have bad stomach. Doctor gives you medicine. Right? Doctor gives you medicine based on what you have. If you have fever, he'll give you a, a medicine called paracetamol. If you have headache, doctor may give you a medicine which will reduce your headache. But sometimes the same medicine works. Right? But what I'm trying to say is this classification is based on the pharmacological effect of the drugs. And it is useful from the doctor's perspective. You go and say, Sir, I have fever. Doctor will say, okay, fever. They are some 10 medicines. And doctor will give you the best one, which has the minimum side effects, right? If you say, doctor, I have headache. Doctor will see the best, or if you say fever and headache combined, then doctor will give you one medicine, which is which will work for both. So that is his call, that is the doctor's call, correct? For example, analgesic that can suppress pain, reduce fever, etc. Antibiotic, reduce fever, kill microorganism also. So this is purely based on the output. This is like a black box. You give a medicine, you give a medicine, and you just observe the output. So you, I took one medicine and this medicine helped me to uh, combat my fever. So if it helped me to reduce my fever, I can say that this medicine is helping me to reduce the fever. This is just from a black box perspective. You don't know what this medicine is doing inside. 
right? This medicine, how it is working. But you just know that you took this medicine and your fever is gone. That means this medicine is used for fever. You took this medicine and your acidity is gone in the stomach. That means this medicine is used for acidity. You had malaria, you took this medicine, your malaria, malaria is gone. That means this medicine is used for malaria. So this is totally based on the output on the of the medicine. It's totally based on the pharmacological effect. What is the output? It, it doesn't, I mean, to classify drugs into this category, you don't even care how this works, right? But because this medicine, for example, analgesic, when it reduces fever, it, it will do something. There has to be some reaction in the body. You don't care about that. You just check for the output. What is the result? You can say it's a more of a non-technical classification. You don't go deep in, inside the, and understand what is uh, which macromolecule is hitting, how it is hitting. You just care about what is the effect. Correct. The next is the drug action. What is the action of the drug? For example, this is aspirin. This aspirin, it controls the synthesis of a chemical called prostaglandins. So if you see, now we are going a little deep, right? I, I don't care about what is the effect of aspirin, whether it is curing fever, curing headache, I don't care. I want to know what it is doing, what is the action of the drug, what is the action of the drug. So the action of this drug is, it is, it is controlling the synthesis of a chemical in the body and that chemical is called prostaglandins. Correct. And if you see this prostaglandins, this prostaglandins does one thing. What? It stimulates or it causes, it causes inflammation. This causes inflammation in the tissue and this inflammation cause pain. So aspirin is a pain reduction. Why? Right? If you take aspirin, your pain will be gone. Why? Right? Because this aspirin will control the synthesis of this chemical called prost prostaglandins in the body and this chemical used to cause inflammation in the tissue and used to cause pain. Now if this particular chemical is controlled, your pain is controlled. So we are not talking about the action of the drug. We are not talking about the fact that the pain is gone. Right? We are talking about the action of the drug. Correct? So you see these drugs, the aspirin drugs are effective in relieving skeletal pains. Arthritis, you know, if you have, if you are old age, you're, uh, your legs start paining, the leg joint starts paining because of the weak cartilage. And that is arthritis. So this, and that cause pain. So this medicine help you to reduce the pain, correct? This also helps to reduce fever, how? Because this the same medicine, aspirin, it controls platelet coagulation, right? So this aspirin controls platelet coagulation. The platelets won't coagulate and it helps in reducing fever also. Since it helps in uh, controlling the platelet coagulation, it also helps in preventing heart attack because heart attack is when your platelets, your blood inside that gets coagulated, the, the whole artery is jammed and then you get heart attack. So same medicine, if you see, if you talk from the effect perspective, pharmacological effect, then it reduces pain, reduces fever, helps in controlling heart attack. But if you talk from the drug action perspective, this, this particular medicine controls the synthesis of the skin. Correct? So one action, where it's controlling the synthesis of prosta, uh, prostaglandins, but a lot of action. Similar example in the real life is one punch. One punch is action. One punch is action. Similar to this, controlling the synthesis of this chemical prostaglandins. But it has so many effects. 
one action one punch can break your teeth if you get this punch on your face it can break your bones if you hit hard someone someone in the hand it can even kill the person if the punch is very strong if somebody is sleepy and if you punch him slightly the guy can be awake he can wake up a sleepy person or somewhere sometimes you get some minor pain and then one punch a little punch can also cure the bone pain there's so many impacts of one punch one action so many effects correct so till now we have seen the classification two types one is you classify based on the effects classify based on the action this particular one was the class to classify the drugs based on the action it performed correct here we go deep inside the chemistry and try to understand what kind of action this drug is doing the next is based on the chemical structure this is a little critical because all the actions which the drugs perform that is mainly because of the chemical structure we'll see that we'll, we'll see that we'll see that enzymes these drugs targets specific enzymes based on their structures we will talk about that in the latest slide but structure plays a critical role for the drug right so there are two different drugs and they, they have two different structures so they will behave differently correct so similar structure similar feature generally have i use the term generally have similar pharmacological effect for example if you see for all sulfonamides they have similar structure since all the sulfonamides have similar structure they have similar pharmacological activity so let me add this similar structure implies similar pharmacological activity and that is why structure is more important and that's why we classify drugs also based on the chemical structure for example if you see all these are my sulfonamides so if this sulfonamide you take any other sulfonide sulfonamides they'll have similar activity the next is molecular target here we'll explain in detail why the structure was more important so now we have talked about the drug action right that this particular drugs will act in this way we also want to know there are so many targets there are so many targets correct which drug targets which macromolecule because there are so many macromolecules we have carbohydrates we have lipids we have proteins we have nucleic acids in proteins we have enzymes we have receptors right there are so many targets so let me write all the targets so we have carbohydrates as one target we have lipids we have proteins we have nucleic acid it is rna dna we have receptors we have in proteins we have enzymes so these are my targets there are so many targets and all these drugs generally target only one of these macromolecular macromolecules so based on that also we classify for example some drugs will target carbohydrates some drug will target lipids some drug will targets enzymes right so based on that we classify it so in this chapter we will target we will generally talk about the drugs which target enzymes or we target receptors receptors are on the cell walls these are the ones red green blue ones are the receptors right so we will discuss about two different types of drugs which target either enzymes or thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again